Hello, my name is Rick. Welcome to my channel. In today's guitar lesson, we're going to do blues lick number 10. <laughs> to it. So key of A, uh, seventh fret on the G string here. You're going to bend that up uh, half step. Uh, you can add a rake if you want to. Uh, maybe I'll cover that at the end. So just bend that note and then immediately just hit the note straight on again. So you're hitting the bent note and then the seventh fret on the G. So yeah, you're going to bend, hit the note straight on, then go 5, 7, 5 on the G. That's the bending portion. <laughs> Add a rake if you want to. I'll quickly cover that because uh, it's tough for some people, I think. Um, I know it was for me initially. Um, if you hit this note here, just put your fingers behind your third finger and then just mute also so you're muting here and you're muting with your right hand and just kind of drag your pick here and then you just do that with the bend so uh, a little uh, picking hand detail here I'm uh, picking I'll just do it kind of slow so doing all upstrokes there, which I think is kind of cool. That kind of sound instead of. Uh, then you're going to go. So pull off 7 to 5 on the D string. 7 on the A string here. And then kind of almost like the opposite of that, you're going to do a hammer on 5 to 7 on the A string. Going to 5 on the D string, so. So those six notes, kind of slow, would be. <laughs> so then I repeat uh, this portion there. Uh, so. So it's like pull off note, hammer on note, pull off note again. So I'll do that, maybe just that part slow without the bend. And then I'm just going to end with a either a quarter bend on the fifth fret of the G here, or I could do vibrato. I guess initially I was doing the rake. With the, uh, with the quarter bend. Um, and one little note about this lick, which I think is interesting to, to note, <laughs> is that uh, if you were playing, like if, if, if Albert King or somebody old school guitar player was playing, I don't think they'd be going. They could, you know, maybe, um, but probably not so much traditional there. Uh, so I think we're heading a little more in a blues rock kind of area when you start doing that. Uh, but I think it's no fun putting labels on things, you know, just play music that sounds good to you. Um, but that's kind of interesting to notice, you know, some licks are a little more traditional. And then this one, at least that second half of it, maybe not, not as much, um, so. I'll do the whole thing with my right hand a little more visible here, so. That part there, it'll say. Probably doing a lot of downs there. I think that comes from, I'm not really thinking about it, but I think it comes from like more of a, more of an oomph to it. You could even get a little more aggressive there, like try to get some kind of raw, you know, that kind of sound too. But that's a different road, it leads to a different destination, so. <laughs> Anyway, hope you uh, enjoy the lick, and hope you're uh, practicing the other blues licks. They're going well. And haven't said this for quite a while, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel, that'd be awesome. Otherwise, otherwise, uh, yeah. 
just uh, just enjoy the video and you know, <laughs> I was gonna say don't subscribe. Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, thanks a lot. See you soon.